part of their function is to monitor building development to ensure that the design and construction of buildings and utilities to which the public is to have access cater for persons with disabilities and many other sections that are to be worked on by this board and the communities. But because of this lockdown, nobody is able to move. And criminals are now putting up buildings quickly. Because we are not sure when this COVID is going away. It might take a year. And so it means with her statement that they are waiting until after COVID, that means we are in trouble. Her submission in front of the Prime Minister of the Republic of Uganda demonstrates some capacity and level of ministers we have in this country. The fact, Honorable Minister, I'm sorry that you are embarrassing your boss. When you can stand in front of the August House, the cream of leadership of Uganda, and you call investors who are building houses, who are creating jobs in our country, criminals, this is a shame. The minister mentioning the word criminal is something very big. I'm imagining how a government, our government, in power with, with police, with LODUs, can see criminals committing offenses and they sit down to wait for COVID to go away. The collapsing of buildings in this country is not the first time. So uh, for the Home Minister ministers come here and tell us after the lockdown we are going to find solutions, we have all these re regulations in place. What measures have you put in, in place to make sure that people follow these regulations? So Minister, don't you consider that uh, collapsing buildings constitute an emergency for which your ministry should take action, arrange for the engineers to move and go to the site? Is it not an emergency? I would suggest and advise my colleague, the minister, to ask for permission to come back later and give a reasonable, sensible response to this. Now, Minister, I, I think if your engineers are in their homes, you have the capacity to send them speakers so that they can come and meet you and help you to deal with this situation. So please do that and come back next week.